Okay, let's try this now. Hello, 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 is anyone here? Hey, there we go. I had the wrong stream key, that was the problem. Hello, hello, friendos. Who do we have in the chat? Let me go to my YouTube Live, and we'll see who is here. Sorry about the whirring sounds, that is my laptop being overworked. Let me just close Photoshop, that might help. Yes, okay, I see that I am here. And I see that we got seven people. Who's here? We have Bella Cat. Hello, hello, Bella Cat. And Anthony Panita. Hello, hello. And Merman DJ. Oh, that gang's all here. This is actually coffee. It's not actually uh, food. Mermaid Serena. Hey, good to see you. Are you in class? Don't watch me in class. And Gwyn, first time. Welcome, welcome. How are you? I am good. I'm very, very good. We're, I'm just going to pop this... Uh, stream link onto my Instagram. I should have done this before. Please hold <laughs> while we transfer your call. Your call is very important to us. So it's Friday. I know I normally don't do these on Friday, but we're, uh, Sundays are kind of not being a good day for me anymore because I got a new job and I church and work and all that stuff. So I might not be doing tail tea time on Sundays anymore. Would a Friday kind of like afternoon or evening stream work? Please let me know and I will try to make it happen as consistently as possible. Um, I know I normally do my YouTube video uploads like kind of early in the week. I'm hoping to get one out on Monday. So I'm hoping that maybe I could do like a Friday Monday sort of schedule. Um, let me know. Do you guys think that Fridays are a good time to do streams? Let's see how many people we have with us right now. Uh, we got 11 people watching. All right. Oh, Mermaid Series says, I don't have school Fridays. I only have school four days a week for two hours. Oh, nice, nice. I remember, yes. And Kelly Calico's here. Hello. And Western Wine Gypsum. And Bella Cat is not in school. She's sick. All right. Friday will work. All right, all right. Well, we'll see how far, how uh, big the stream gets. Um, thankfully, my... <laughs> Internet's actually working, because if you guys were here last week, um, I tried to do a video, or like a live stream, a tail tea time on Sunday, and it just failed dramatically, and I was so sad, and I was like, why? Okay, I'm going to do a little thing on my Instagram, so you guys can see. Uh, where's my live stream? So say hello, everybody. We have scissors, we have a box, we have the YouTube chat. We are going live for the next hour to unbox my new crown, so if you want to see it, swipe up. Have Beautiful. scissors. Mm. All right. I'm going to pop that link in there. I have over 10,000 followers, which means I can do links. It's very exciting. Uh, Alrighty, guys. Who else do we have here? Uh, oh, Michael's Wolf Pack is here, and Kendra Plaz Games. Hello. Welcome, welcome, everybody. What about Saturdays? Saturdays might work, too. Um, sometimes I have... Hello, yes. Hello, Luna. All right, we got 14 people watching. This is good news. This is good news. Are you guys ready to see my new crown? Because I've been waiting since last night. Y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, let me get my... Yeah, boom! Don't mind my pajama pants. We've got the crown. I think you guys might want to see my face while I unbox this, or maybe you'd want to see my face on top of this. That might work better. I didn't actually do a rehearsal for this. <laughs> Please hold. Your call is very important to us. We want to capture this in the best way possible. Oh, we want my watermark to be on the very top. Oop, so people don't steal this. Okay. Gonna minimize my shelf. Nope. We're not gonna minimize the Logitech camera. We're gonna minimize the Mac. There we go. All right, make me a little bit smaller, like a, gosh dang it, <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've streamed, like, I tried streaming on Sunday, there we go, and, uh, it failed dramatically, because my internet was just poo, here we go, but, yeah, okay, let's see, all right, Mermaid Stream, are you gonna make it to the mini-meet coming up? I don't think so, I've got work, uh, but we'll see, um, crown, yes, I need to see the crown, 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 all right, all right, all right, where did my scissors go, here they are. All right, so Wonderland Arts is like one of the top dogs when it comes to mermaid crowns. She makes crowns for, um, you, probably most famous is 
mermaid uh, Sirena, uh, the Singapore mermaid. Kara, she's awesome. She also made an amazing crown for my good friend Mermaid Kelly, which I saw almost a year ago at Mermagicon. The crown and Mermaid Kelly. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, now that I've seen this, I really want one. Because my big thing about large chunky crowns is that they're not super practical in the water. Like, they look awesome, but like, I don't want a crown that I can't swim in. And Mermaid Kelly is like, no girl, these crowns are like fabulous. It's so worth it. So I'm like, okay, Mermaid Kelly, I'm going to take your recommendation. And I saw this wonderful, sweet, sweet girl named Ashley, who is basically Ariel. She also had one and loved it. <laughs> okay. Sounded like Tigger right there. All right. <laughs> who else is for spring? Me. All right. All right. Got, let's see, let's see you guys to see this, okay, got some tissue paper, and we've got a note, so we're going to read the note, uh, it says, Dear Faith, thank you so much for your purchase, I hope you will love your item, and then we've got, whoa, look at this, it's a sick certificate of authenticity, congratulations, you now own an original Wonderland Arts circlet. Ooh, the circlet is a custom order and only exists once. It was handcrafted in Germany 2019 with love and salty hair. May it bring as much joy to you as it brought to me while crafting. Woo! All right. Dated January 3rd, 2020. And we've got a care sheet. Please store the crown on a mannequin head. I don't have one of those. <laughs> Do not leave it out in the sun. Okay. Rinse after every use in saltwater chlorine with tap water, of course. Store in a dry place. Yes. Dry with a fan to prevent mold and mildew. Okay. Don't let it sit in the water. Uh, right. Only store in box once it has dried. Material may wear out over time. Fish in the open water may be attracted to shimmering things and may react aggressively. Keep away from children under the age of three. Beats are choking hazard. Not recommended for use in natural waters. Wonderland's Arts is not responsible for injury or death or unsafe use of this product. Okay. So I'm thinking uh, possibly... Uh, yeah. Uh, I had, once upon a time, I had a little seashell. Or not a seashell. A um, starfish that was coated in, like, resin. But, yeah, it, like, eventually got moldy and mildewy. I hope that's not the case with this. But anyways, so we got some paper package. Ew, it's a plastic package, but I mean this thing is very delicate. Yeet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This came all the way from Germany and I was eagerly tracking it. Okay, got some more things right here. Here it is, here it is. Ooh, it's very small. That's good. I didn't want anything super huge. It's chunky. All right, are you guys ready for this? Oh, I love this bag. <gasps> oh my gosh! Whoa! Check this out! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Oh, that gem. That gem! Oh my gosh! Oh, and the shells are gorgeous. And look, she had little sparklies inside the sparklies. Ah, and the crystals. And oh my gosh, it already feels so comfortable. It's got like a fabric lining on the inside. Oh, okay, I see. And it's got a little bead in the front like a circlet, which is what I requested. I was like, I want it to be a circlet. Holy shoot. Oh my gosh. Ah, I can't get over the shimmer of these. Wow, it looks so much better than I thought it would. Holy crap, she did such a good job. Oh, it's got the black and the teal and a bit of dark purple and the beads and a pink. And oh, wow, but it looks so natural and gorgeous. These shells feel amazing. And there's like her little logo here. That's really cute. I never noticed that. Wow. Okay, all right, you guys, you want to see this on? Because I do. Now, pardon me, my hair is a little gross. I just dyed it, and so I don't really want to wash it, so I dry shampooed today. Ah, matches fabric and silicone tails. Yes, precisely. So it's got this, like, really nice little velvet 
thing. I'm just going to put it on right now. Woo, Lord! That is gorgeous. Wow. Check this out. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm going to try and get some light so you guys can see. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me get... I'm just going to try and shine some light directly on my face here so you guys can see this. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That is stellar. I'm trying to find the best place I can wear this. I can't tell if it's crooked or not. Maybe my head's crooked. <laughs> Holy crap. Matches your hair. Yes! I actually just dyed my hair pink. Normally my hair is purple, but I had a kind of a wrench pink today because I had leftover. Okay, so it's got like this loop-de-loop -loop and a stringy string that goes through the loop-de-loop -loop and I think you can, like you can do it a bunch of different ways. I'm gonna ugh, try pulling my hair back a little bit. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a marvelous princess. Yeet! Wow, I'm gonna need to like look at this actually in a mirror. Cause I mean my laptop screen is probably not doing it justice the camera and so you just tie it around at the back so I'll probably do the same thing I do with most of my circlets where I have it underneath my hair oh that didn't work <laughs> it's not quite as thick of a strap as mermaid Kelly's that's what I'm noticing mermaid Kelly's had like a really really big strap oh you saw it on her Instagram oh I didn't know she posted it on Instagram cool 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 probably because she saw that it got delivered Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Woo! Okay, let me try. I like how the back here is like a little heart. That's really pretty. I'm gonna try doing my ponytail thing that I always do. Um, this is like my best way to wear crowns and mermaid in the water is pull my bangs and like extra hair bits and bobs out of my face. You are Queen Mermaid. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys all got to see this. This is such an exciting thing. Yeah, it turned out even better than I thought it would. Oh my gosh. And it's like black on the back, which looks really, really neat. Let me see if I can move my lamp a little bit closer to my camera. So you guys can see it a little bit better. Perfect. Yes. Whee! Okay, so I'm going to put it on my big ugly forehead oh yeah okay this I think is where it's supposed to be and then just tie the little stringy bings it's really hard to tie your strings when you can't see them Oop, I got stuck in my hair <laughs> yeah this feels pretty secure like like it's well weighted and balanced but it's not it's nowhere near as heavy as I thought it would be like seeing girls wearing these like sort of crowns I'm like ah must be so heavy but, like, okay. I'm just trying to figure out the best way I can wear this. Planning on making my own fabric tail and silicone moth is going to be a fun project. Oh, I bet that will be a fun project. Oh, I see. I see what I did wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. I had the top part over my ponytail. So we're going to need to do a water test to see how this actually holds up in the water. But if it's anything like Mermaid Kelly's, it should be a non-issue. So I, I asked specifically for something like very small and, oops, <laughs> stupid glasses. I asked specifically for something smaller because I don't like big bulky things. Um, but man, she just like, I probably could have gotten this bigger because I had, I had no idea how crazy light this would be. Like, like when, I, when my dad handed me the box because he went to the, the mailbox and he's like, oh, your thing arrived. And I was like, ooh. <gasps> And so I was like, wow, this is such a big box. And then I picked it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so light. Like, I think most of the weight I was feeling in there was packaging, honestly. Okay, I've got it almost tied to the back of my head. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. I feel so, I should have done more makeup because man, this is, this is something else. Wow. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Taylor. Put the crown on the hairline and then tie it. That's what I did. 
I don't, I don't know if I want it on my hairline though, because I feel like it just makes my head look bigger. I wanted it to be a circlet. So it's a circlet, so it's supposed to go on your forehead, not like your hairline. But actually the shells, these top shells here go right about to my hairline. I just like, I don't know, I feel like it's slightly off balance. Maybe my head's not quite balanced. Well, like, I gotta, I gotta go look in the mirror. Don't, don't judge my pajama pants. It's my day off. Oh, woo! Oh, it's so pretty! Wow. I like how aerodynamic it is. Like, it just feels so wee! Okay, I think I know why why I think it's off balance is because the, the little gym kind of, like, folds and creases, and so it kind of changes the center line of it, and I'm like, what the heck? But, yeah, that's why I think it's off balance is because this little circlety bit bob here is like so if I hide the circlet bit bob it looks balanced and straight but yeah other than that little thing like just the weirdness of getting used to it I love this already like it's so comfortable mmm I cannot wait to try this in the water like I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm thrashing around and blah, 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 blah. it's it's not coming loose like it's really not I'm like all the way upside down. Hey there, Faith. Ooh, your hair looks pretty. I'm all the way upside down and I can't feel it like sliding loose or anything. So this is pretty awesome. Now I'm going to move my lamp back so I can see you guys a little better. So yeah, so that's what I got in this package. I got a care sheet. I got a thank you note, an order form. And I got the certificate of authenticity, which I wasn't expecting, but it's a very, very nice thing. Uh, and I will store all of this and my little accordion folder of mermaid paperwork. Yee! Ah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So yeah, I ordered this on, well, I didn't order it on December. She made the Etsy listing in December. And then I, uh, but I think I've been waiting for this since like, probably October. Uh, yeah. Because she's, because I have her on post notifications. I don't even know why I have her on post notifications. I think it was because she was doing a giveaway or something. And so I had her on post notifications. Oh, hi, Digimer. Welcome, welcome. Look, I got a new crown. It's so pretty. But yeah, I had her on post notifications and I was like in bed and then I get a, I got a ding a and I was like, Bleh. and I checked and I was like, Wonderland Arts has posted a photo. I was like, click. And it's like, commissions are open. And I was like, <gasps> I just got paid. <laughs> so it was my Christmas present to myself. And I'm, mm, it's so pretty. Hello, Amy Whitehead. Wow. Yeah, this is this is good. This is really good. So cheers to Wonderland Arts. She did an amazing job on this. Mm, so worth it. Highly recommend. I mean, this is my full review. I don't actually really do full reviews of like my jewelry and accessories. Although, however, plug, 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 my last video was my um, mermaid accessories and tails and monofins and all the stuff I got in 2019. My updated kind of like, this is this. This is why I got it. I like it. And also, I want to point out that she, I said, she was like, oh, can you send me some photos of stuff that you like, kind of your aesthetic. And so I was like, okay, this is my circle that I use right now. It looks kind of like crap, but she used a similar gem right in the middle, which I love. Now, my one thing is that she didn't have the, you know, the, the gem bead that I use on everything. She doesn't have that in this, which is kind of a bummer, but I don't think she could get it. That's okay. I didn't, like, specifically request for it. I can't remember if I did. I don't know. We sent a lot of emails back and forth. But I think that this is going to match, woohoo, fabulously with my shell top. Because what I like is that it's got, like, the pink is little pearls, just like... Ooh, this is nasty looking. Yeah. Just like the pearls on my top. Sorry, the inside looks a little scungy. Ooh, machine top. So, yeah, these are going to work fabulously together. Woo, fancy, fancy. I must, uh, I must take a photo. And she included this really nice, awesome bag, which, you know, I love collecting bags to put my thingies in. So, yeah, I'm hoping... I have to take pretty good care of this. Make sure it doesn't get all moldy and things. Oh, I just realized on the bag, she also has her logo on this little wooden bead here, which she also had on the crown, but you can't... Where is it? Oh, it's like right here. Yeet. So, 
Very excited. Oh, it does match well. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. It does. And the crown completes my hair color. Oh, thank you. Yes, I dyed it just the other day. I am going to take some selfies with my extremely bad cell phone camera. Now, trick for taking selfies, guys, is to put your face against a mirror. Oh, that looks so good! Yes. I look like a queen! My gosh! When will your next video be? I'm hoping soon. I'm working on it right now. Um, my patrons decided what video it would be. I have um, part of my Patreon rewards tiers is I sometimes, if I'm like kind of stuck on what I edit, I put the couple ideas in a poll. And so uh, if you're a patron, you can go vote on that. Or if you want to be a patron, but I've already started the project. So, <laughs> uh, but if you want a chance to do that. So, yes, they should know what the photo or the photo, what the video is. I wonder if I've. Have I published a Photoshop for it? Yeah, I have. But anyways, new video hopefully coming out Monday. I was thinking of maybe getting it done today, but I want to put a lot of work into it. And yeah, so uh, how much are they? Starting price. Woo! <laughs> a lot. Um, I think she wrote on the custom sheet because when you go, when something gets sent into another country, you have to fill out a sheet that says, this is how much this thing costs. She said it was 100 euros. I think I paid more like 120 euros for it. Um, 120 euros is a lot of Canadian dollars, but yeah, they're, they're up there, they're up there, they're up there in price, but for good reason, like, this is mm, magical, and I'm the first person in my pod to get one, so yes, I'm just gonna send this to a few of my fishy friends, um, oh, some stuff, yeah. And this to boy must send photo of crown to boy because he supports the mermaid things and that's very nice. Oh yeah, also, like literally a minute before I was going to start the live, hi Michigan Mermaid, I ugh, got a new radiator, got a new heater in my room, so that's exciting. I'm very stoked because it's been so cold. Haha, <laughs> I asked Google to convert Euro to Canadian dollars and it... Messed up YouTube. The future has bugs. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, is that my mother? Is my mother home? Oh, oh, I'm so excited for her to see it. Mother! Mother, come see my new crown! I'm live on YouTube and it's very pretty! Ta da! <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm not laughing. It's very. Well, I did laugh, but it's just very surprising. <laughs> yes, it's large, but it's so light. It's like it's like the amethyst princess of the Amazonian waters. And the galaxy. It's got little stars on the inside. <laughs> also, my new radiator came finally. Oh, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. so yes. Who's it by? Wonderland Arts on Etsy. It was a commission. Good job, Wonderland Arts. I don't think she's here, but... Yes. 120 euro is 175 Canadian dollars today. Okay, well, I, it was probably a lot more. And DJ Mir says, hello, This was 175 dollars? It was a lot more than that. It's my Christmas present to myself. It is very pretty. I get, like, a very moderately expensive thing at the end of every year <laughs> as a Christmas present to myself. And it's so useful and practical. Yes, it is! <laughs> I am leveled up. <laughs> yes. Yourself. I've crowned myself the 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 oh I had it I had a name for myself the intergalactic space queen. <laughs> yes. Ooh, gracious. Yes. Food. I have half an hour left on my live stream. And someone says you're pretty. <laughs> she says aw. All right. Hmm. Very exciting. Very exciting. Woo! This is, okay. What else do we do in these live streams besides just geek out over this amazing crown? Um, let's see. So what else? Let's do like a little update. What is the beginning of January looked like for me? Well, I'll show you what it's looked like for me. Um, where's my video capture device? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, uh, for me, 
It flipped like a lot of winter and it's not fun. Oh, hey, we can get some close-ups. <gasps> I know this camera isn't amazing, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's looked like a lot of snow this last week or so. <laughs> How's the West Coast dealing with all the snow? Not well, Digimer. Not well. Um, my car is buried under a lot of snow. Oh, someone's here at my house. Ew, how dare they? Oh no, never mind. That's someone going to the neighbor's house. I can't go to the pool a little too much snow. It's unsafe. Yeah, I'm wanting to go swimming today. I don't know. I have I have a little coffee date after this, but I'm like, maybe we could also go to the pool. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Well, we'll see how, what he says to my... It looks like Disney ears. Excuse me, friend. It does not look like Disney ears. Okay, it kind of does. How dare you? How dare you? I'll just send it upside down. Smiley face says, you suck. There, take that. It's fine. Canadian Mermaid, because <laughs> buses have been canceled all week. We've only got minus 52. Minus 52! Oh, that's gross. Yeah, I, I've, oh, yeah, I didn't go to work on Wednesday. Wednesday, work was like, don't come in. So I'm like, okay, don't mind if I do. Because, yeah, and then yesterday, I wasn't really able to move my car. It was dead in the water, or dead in the snow. And so I got a ride, and then I took the bus home. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, we're surviving. It's just the initial shock of everyone being like, oh my god! And now it's fine. But, yeah, it's just... It's gross. It's gross. Snow is gross. Here in the Lower Mainland, we prefer this thing called green winters and maybe a bit of rain. But I mean, the sun's out now, so I don't know. I might go, I might go out for a walk or something. But yeah, it's just I don't like coal. This is why we pay so much in rent out here because it's cold. Alberta is pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I saw something a tweet that was like. Alberta got so cold that the Calgary Zoo took in the penguins inside for their safety. Penguins. Animals that were involved to survive Arctic temperatures. <laughs> or Antarctic temperatures, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Canadian Mermaid says, I'm in Alberta. Oh! That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. It's gonna warm up on Monday. Good, good, good. It's like 60 degrees. Ooh! Can I have a mermaid tail? Nope. Thank you, Did you Merit, for deleting that message. Uh, Michigan Mermaid, sorry, I missed a few things from you. Said, I was thinking about making my mermaid name Mermaid Calypso. I think that one's used by someone, I don't know who, but it's not super common, so I think it's a good name. Um, it's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeesh. Ugh. I don't like this cold. I got three mermaid tails. Huzzah! Yes, I really, really want to go to the pool now, but it's also <laughs> cold, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll go this evening. But it's like, it's a Friday night, so it's like, I could go to the pool, but last time I went to the pool on a Friday night, it was nuts, which wasn't fun. I could go to the other pool, but that sometimes it's nuts, and it's also like, it's a Friday night, and it's not the worst to be driving in, so people might be at the pool. I don't know. Oh, did you see pics of Koi posted according to Discord? I didn't. I don't have Discord open, but I'll have to check that out later. Ah, yes. So yeah, that's kind of been the last week, has been just the snowpocalypse. Ooh, and last Saturday I went to a cat cafe, and that was pretty good. Um, what else have I been up to? I've been swimming twice. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, I went swimming once with... Yeah, I went... I started a new job this year, so I've been going out to a few cities over to do some lifeguarding again, and I'm going there again on Sunday to restart my WSI, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, so I've been swimming there after work sometimes. I went swimming with the Pearlescent Mermaid and my friend Rebecca, and I have a new tale. It's kind of a bit of a secret project. I don't want to reveal it totally. I will reveal it to my patrons though. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to reveal it totally until it's done, because I'm still doing, like, some testing and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so last time I was swimming was, like, two Sundays ago, which is horrible! My gosh! So, yeah, I've been, I think, on the list of to-do this weekend is to go swimming. But, of course, I just dyed my hair, 
And, oh yes, I am um, in the final stages of having my Finfolk review ready to be filmed. I already filmed a part of it, so look out for that. It's going to be coming. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. <laughs> Finfolk review. <laughs> uh, good, to, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, if you guys are in Mermaids of BC, we do have a meetup coming out at the end of the month. We have a January meetup for our friend Ravenna Mermaid's birthday. I'm able to go to her birthday party, but not her birthday swim meet because I'll be working. Mm, no fun. But that is coming up for you Mermaids of BC. Um, all two of you that are in the stream right now. <laughs> um, oh, also it's time for comment of the week. So I usually try and do this every stream where I show my favorite comment uh, I've gotten a bit of an uptick in subscribers. I'm now at 19.1k, which is exciting! I was kind of hovering around 870, or 18.7, and I was like, where, where, what date? Uh, <laughs> you'll need to check the bot, I can't remember. It's either the 30th or the 31st, or maybe it's February 1st, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm not able to go. But we have comment on the week from, we had a video, we had a, a couple videos kind of go poof, up in views again, which is nice. So, <laughs> this was my mermaid Amethia uh, silicone tail unboxing. Someone said she was offended when they kept bugging her about getting a tail, which is very funny because it's very true. So, thank you to whoever that was, Martian Kitty. <laughs> I thought that that was a funny, funny comment that I was like, yes, I, I feel that deeply within my soul. You were so right because, yeah, I would be kind of annoyed when people would be... be be like, mm, why don't you have a silicone tail? And I was like, bruh, silicone tails is so much money. Cha-ching, I am 20 years old. <laughs> um, Bella Cat says, I have not been swimming because there's no indoor pools I can swim in summer. Okay, well, you could always check. There's, there's pools, and then there's pools. So, hotels, people's private pools, um, what else? What else is there? Uh, la, 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 la. Pools, people's private pools, and things, words, um, gyms. So like, like fitness gyms and stuff. Sometimes they'll have pools that you can swim in. Granted, all these pools are crap, but there's still there's still a body of water you can be in. So if you do a little bit of research and you're a bit savvy, you might be able to find somewhere to swim. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh, Lanaya nailed the paint on her, and that's exactly what I hoped for. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I'm, it's too cold to swim outside. Yeah! Yeah, I feel you. It's too cold to swim outside in BC. Probably mm, 10 months of the year. Like, July and August, we can. Like, you can try in May and June, but it never really works out that well. So, yeah. And you can in September, but July and August are generally the months where we actually swim outside. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, coffee. So good. Yeah, so I also got my new radiator, and I kind of want to unbox it, but that's kind of boring, unboxing my new radiator. All right, so crown test. One part that I did, oh, look at that. Notice digging into me is, where was it? There was something that was digging into me. Now I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah, it's, it's this part right here, I think? Or is it just where the gym is? But look, <laughs> I got a little dent in my forehead. But that always happens when I wear circlets. Uh, where? Yeah, it's like, I think it's like right here where it kind of comes down to a point. It sort of digs into my head, but I also might have had it on super tight. But that's how you're, that's how you do. But yeah, okay, yeah. There is, there is a little bit of stress points. But other than that, it's just very fancy and fun. And yes, I like it. I like it a lot. I should post this to my Mermaids of BC group chat. <laughs> he 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 he. Where's my Mermaids of BC chat? Ooh, I'm gonna send it to Rebecca. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Where's my Mermaids of BC group chat? Here it is. Yes. Doink. There we go. <laughs> Exciting. Um, oh, I had a full top made for Koi specifically to swim in colder water. Makes it look like a full tail up the torso, hopefully I act like a wetsuit. Ooh, that's exciting. 
Michael said, I'm a YouTube, but I only have two videos. Well, keep at it, but don't spam people with your self-promo because nobody likes you if you do that. Like, how many... Okay, let's be real here, guys. Let's just do some critical thinking with our thinking brains. How many times have you seen someone comment on your own stuff? That, shout out, please. And you've been like, yes, I like that. Or if someone says, I want, like, oh, I like your videos, please subscribe to me. Or please check out my videos, please, please, please. How often does that work? How often do you go to some random YouTuber's comment section and someone's saying, oh, I make YouTube videos, come check me out. How often does that work out for you? Or like, how often do you see people being like, oh my gosh, yes, click, wow, I subscribed. Like, mm, it's not a good self-promotion tactic. FYI. <laughs> Um, are you going to the 2020 California Mermaid Convention? Yes, I am planning on it. I am kind of planning on going to maybe two conventions this year. Uh, one is slightly in the works. One is probably definitely going to happen. I'm going to, sometime in the next little while, make a group chat with my mermaid friends from BC and being like, let's go! But you also have to keep in mind that some of my friends who are mermaids are a little um, not great at planning and thinking and thinking about planning and just how do I put this lightly it's just it's hard for some people to think and plan not all of my mermaid friends not all of my mermaid friends are are bad at life and planning but some of them are like oh no that's too much to handle and I'm like well we gotta get a jump on it so I'm gonna wait until the stressy depressy of the snow is kind of gone and then I'm gonna be like hello friends let us think about doing this thing in July ahead of time yeah! I mean, we weren't we weren't that bad last year, but there was some things that went horribly wrong. And I was on tour and I was like, I don't care, just book something, I'll come. <laughs> Hello, mermaid and uh, girl TV. Hello. I just started to watch this. Oh, well, welcome. We still have a little bit of uh, time left, about 20 minutes for our tail tea time. I don't know if 1 o'clock on a Friday afternoon works super well, so... Maybe next week I'll try Saturday or something. You mean people who live as fantasy creatures have troubles organizing in the real world? Shock. Yes. There's the thing I've noticed. And please don't take offense to anyone. Offense to this anyone. Like, I love the mermaid community. But a lot of people who are mermaids suck at life. And I'm not just talking like, oh, you know, I, I use mermaiding to cope with my whatever. Or I like being a child and, like, pretending things. No, I'm talking like... Just people who just can't life. Like, they just, it's just not what they're good at. Like, just life in general. Like, there's one mermaid in my pod who, she's pretty talented. And, like, she does a lot of kind of, like, artistic things. But she just, like, when it comes to social skills, she's very, very not good. Like, very kind of demanding and upfront and, like... Yeah, not good at, like, tactfully asking for things or saying, hey, you know, I, I don't, like, I'm not sure about this. Or, hey, could we possibly reschedule? Like, just very, like, it's all about me and you give me what I want even though you don't know me. And I'm like, <laughs> but some sometimes my favorite thing to do is to connect two mermaids that are, like, kind of both awful and be like, you be friends. And then they're friends and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible, but it's just, I mean, I suck at life, too. I really do. I don't have my full driver's license because I'm not very good at driving, and I'm not amazing with finances, and when it comes to romantic relationships and things like that, I'm not very good, and in social situations, sometimes I'm super obnoxious. But I think I've got a little bit more of a handle on how to be an adult than some other people my age who are also mermaids. It's just, it's just a little, a little thing. Katie says, I booked the Airbnb for my mermaid group during the conventions. I just tell them to give me money and they'll take care of the rest. Haha, <laughs> it's way easier if I take care of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, last year we had uh, one person who's good at life um, do the do the booking for our Airbnb. And I'm trusting her to do it again this year, but I'm also like, e we have other things. E -e 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 -e. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um yeah, I'm hoping that my Mermaid SBC group can get our own Airbnb, all of us together, and then if there's any other... We have some honorary Mermaids of BC, like Siren Sadie, she's an honorary Mermaid of BC, uh, and the Mermaid Seamstress, she's an honorary Mermaid of BC, so we're going to maybe invite a few other people who are good and 
not trashy and not stressful <laughs> to come stay with us. Not the people we stayed with last year were trashy and terrible. We had a great time. Everyone involved had an excellent time. But yeah, there, I, I felt really bad that Rivetta Mermaid couldn't join us, so I'm like, you are going to stay in our house this year because we love you. Faith That Crown is so pretty. Yes, this is from Wonderland Arts, and I love it, and it's so good. Um, it's Mermaid Serena said, I would try to go down, don't have a passport, and have a lot of stress. It's hard to have the money to go at my age. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, Canadian Mermaid, she went, and it was like her, her parents being like, okay, so... You never know. I mean, I'm trying to convince my parents. We bought, an, we bought an RV, and we went down to California this year, and I'm trying to convince them, like, hey, you know what would be fun if we took the RV down to Sacramento in the middle of July? And they're like, no. I'm like, mm, it would be fun. <laughs> they're like, eh. Pool party with us during the convention. Oh, absolutely. We're going to hang out. Absolutely. There's, there's no question about it. You are also an honorary mermaid of BC, Katie. Don't don't you ever think the the other. Don't think opposite. You are an honorary mermaid of BC. Not that that's like much of a prestigious thing or anything. It's just there there there's our mermaids of BC, and we can't choose which ones are mermaids of BC because we're all from BC and we're all mermaids and some of them we're just like okay I guess you're here, but then we have you know the people that we pick and choose to be honorary mermaids of BC are. Guaranteed good people. <laughs> Is the name Moonlight taken? Uh, yeah, that that's a. Uh, okay, here's what you do. If you want, if you want to try, figure out a mermaid name. You go Instagram, Instagram.com, and then you go slash, and then the best username you could possibly have for yourself is mermaid, no spaces, no periods, no underscores, no dashes, whatever, and then, and then you search it. Uh, we have Instagram.com slash Mermaid Moonlight. That name is taken. So that's kind of your best way to figure out what names have been taken. Um, I mean, you can, like, have the same name and, like, just change it slightly or, like, like add an underscore or a period. But to avoid confusion, it's pretty good if you have your own unique name that you can, like, singularly be like, I am. Like, if I was Mermaid in Faith, I don't. I think that one's taken. I know there is one or two Mermaid Faiths. Um, I could spell my name with Y though. Let's see. Instagram.com slash mermaid face. Uh, yeah, there's one of them, but she's not even a mermaid. Gross. <laughs> or maybe she is. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's how you do. Uh, Wonderland Arts made my crown, by the way, for people asking. Uh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Ew, I'm getting so many notifications from group chats of people I don't like. I hate that. Um, you should do a vid that you go swim the sea with your pod. Now that would be fun, but the ocean in VC is not nice. <laughs> not nice at all. I actually do have a video with Mermaid Seamstress on my second channel of swimming in the ocean, if you want to go check that out. Um, I found my mermaid name, which is the Marvel Mermaid, and I'm praying that no one else has it. Ooh, that would be good. Uh, Digimer said, we have a few honorary members in the uh, South Ontario Siren something. Pod as well. Good. And people are always welcome just as long as they visit now and then. Hee <laughs> Yes! Um, I'm trying to decide if I should buy a, a tail for my Linden before I go to Hawaii in March. My friend Mermaid Amethia swam in the ocean with her Linden and she was like, yes, it is good. So I would go with her recommendation because I love Mermaid Amethia. She's the one that made my silicone tail, by the way. Um, I would love to go to Mermagic Con, but I have college. Aw, oh, you have college on the weekends? Or is it just, like, the travel? I get that. I get that. Um, yeah, for you guys, I, I posted on my Instagram that I'm not going to be going to Mermaid, to Mermagic Con this year because of, well, first of all, it's on the opposite end of the continent, so travel alone would probably be a fair amount of money, um, even if I tried to get cheap plane tickets and everything. Sirens of Southern Ontario. Ah, I see. Um... So it would be, like, a fair bit of money. Like, I probably could have made it happen, but also that would involve putting a lot of things on the credit card and then trying to pay it off and then other things come up, which just isn't the smartest thing to do. Um, and uh, so I was, like, I didn't buy a ticket in advance because I thought I might be on tour, but that didn't happen. And that's why I was able to go last year because I was literally, like, just one state away and had the weekend free <laughs> when more Magic Con happened. Um... So that's, like, the main reason is, like, the money and it's, like, really far away from me. Uh, and the second reason is, <laughs> um, 
I've been kind of nervous lately with the whole World War Three going on and just the fact that, like, I've already had, like, some problems flying into the States before, so I wouldn't want to, like, just get disappointed. And also, like, it just makes me sad because that plane that went down in the Ukraine was, like, filled with a lot of Canadians. And I just, and the fact that I'm going towards the capital of America just makes me go, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, th the chances of something happen happening is pretty slim, but I'm still like, I just really don't want to risk it. So I'm going to possibly try to go to a different convention on the Eastern-ish area this, this spring. Wink, wink, we'll see. Um, but I'm definitely going to go... Uh, drive down to California Mermaid Convention because it's just very expensive to travel with a silicone tail and stressful and blah blah blah. Is Mermaid Olivia taken? That is something you're going to need to figure out for yourself. Um, uh, you have never been to Mermagicon? Well, it's only been going on for one year, so don't be sad. <laughs> um, my friend Mermaid uh, Safira posted on her Instagram, and I'm so sad that I'm not Mermagicon. But she's like, who's going to Mermagicon? And 76% of people voted no, and like 24 voted yes. So there, there's a large mermaid community and a small amount of them in the, in the pie chart of the mermaid community are going to Mermagicon. So it's not like everyone's going. I'm not going. There's a lot of people that aren't going. There's, I don't think anyone from BC is going to go. Um, I don't know if anyone from the West Coast area, maybe some people from Seattle. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out when the convention happens. So, it's okay. <laughs> um, I wish, I really wish I could participate in more meets and stuff. I've just been I'm so busy and focusing on my mental health first. Well, that's okay. You know, you're very active, like, online, so it's not like... No, no one's going to forget about you. And no one's going to think of you as like, oh, they, they must not care because they don't go. Like, there's tons of mermaids that I never see at meetups, but I don't, like, question that they're still, like, involved or anything. I get it. Like, this is the first meetup I'm not going to be able to go to. Sad. But we're planning on another one possibly um, in Burnaby, possibly later on in the next couple months or so. We'll see. Um, yeah. So, okay, what else What else do I do on tail tea time? I spill tea, which I did. I, I was very salty about all the mermaids recently. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, people are dumb. I don't like them. And money is expensive. Yes. Will it grow anytime soon? Possibly. Possibly. Um, they still don't like us, though. Well, I'll see. I'll maybe give them a call and be like, please! But also, they're scary, so. <laughs> spilled tea. I missed the tea. Oh, I just talked about how a lot of mermaids suck at life. And then I was also talking about the conventions and the honorary mermaids of BC. That was mostly the salt. That was mostly the salty tea. Um, the Marvel mermaid isn't taken, so yeah, you better take it then, because you just talked about it live on a public stream. So, what do you guys think? Like, I know that this Friday everyone that's here is like, yay, Friday afternoon can join the stream, but I don't know if like, everyone wants to join if, like, it's the best time. Like, I think I've got, like, a smaller than average, but about the same amount for, um, viewership on the stream, which is pretty good. I was expecting a little bit fewer people. Um, I was trying to do it so that, like, like, it's 1 p.m. here, which means it's 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m., you know, I mean... I guess it's not really after school, after work. Hello, I just joined. I like your crown. Thank you. I just got it. I unboxed it. Yeah, normally I have cool... Personally, I'm in class on Saturdays, but wherever works best for most people is best. Okay, well, maybe I'll try next week. Maybe I'll try doing, like, a Friday evening stream. Um, I know it, it kind of sucks when I'm... I, I don't have, like, daylight in my room and everything, but I put it in my Instagram bio. Huzzah! But we'll see. Hopefully, like, I'm still trying to figure out tail tea time. Maybe I'll post a poll on my Instagram uh, seeing, like, what tail tea time time works out. But I'm really glad that all of you guys got to see me unbox this. It's so exciting. Yay. I'm gonna need to add this to my unboxings playlist. I've only unboxed a few things live on the YouTubes, so that's exciting. Um, uh, so we have this on our... Uh, oh, I need to make a new playlist of my 2020 videos. Where's my... Where's my Tale Tea Times live stream? There it is. Tale Tea Times and unboxings. There. It's on those playlists now. Huzzah. Yay. Oh, yeah. 
In regards to finding mermaid names, yeah, definitely the best way to go is to either search, like, for Facebook pages with that same name or Instagram pages with mermaid, blah. But, I mean, my friend, uh, Mermaid Ripple, she searched Mermaid Ripple and that was taken, so she just did Ripple the Mermaid and she's really the only Mermaid Ripple. So, it's really, it's really just, like, you know, whatever floats your boat. If you want to, like, share a name with someone, that's fine. Like, really, how many names could there possibly be? But if you want, like, the best amount of brand recognizability and people to find you easily, try doing mermaid blank, you know? And make sure it's easy to spell, too. <laughs> yeah, because there's some mermaids that I I know of, and I'm like, I can't, I can't find you because I can't remember how to spell your stupid name. <laughs> My mermaid name is Laguana. Twilight Show. That's uh, short. Awesome. I have a mermaid tail. It's my only tail that's a boy, and it's Liguana. That's his name. It's Liguana. It's my green sun tail, which you can see peeking out next to the virtuoso aerial one. There it is. Blink. That's Liguana. The Marvel Mermaid came to nine because I'm a big Marvel Cinematic Universe fan, so I thought I'd combine it with Mermaid. I had no idea that that would be your inspiration. <laughs> No, that's awesome. I love it. I think I saw someone made some sort of Captain Marvel mermaid tail. I could be wrong. I could just be thinking of a cosplay that someone did, but yes. I looked at merman names. Yeah, merman have it a little bit better because they could just search merman and oh look, that's enough taken. I love the name Mermaid Aqua. Yeah, that's the name of a company. <laughs> they made that big blue oh you can't see it. They made that big blue tail with the fins. Mermaid Aqua made that one. And then there's also Aqua Mermaid. <laughs> so I, I, I would Maybe, if you're trying to do a name, maybe don't do Mermaid Aqua, because, I don't know, there's a lot of Aqua mermaid stuff. Suntails has Wonder Woman-inspired tail, I believe. Yes! Yes, they do, but that's not Marvel. That is DC. I'm a big nerd, man. I've been thinking of using my Zodiac color for your tail. Ooh, yes, do it. There's a few Zodiac-inspired mermaids, and I really, really like it. Like Mermaid Gemini, who is pregnant, by the way, which is so exciting. She's going to have a little mermaid wing, and I'm... Yeah. Uh, yay, Rachel. And then her mom has, I forget what her mermaid name is, but her mom is also a mermaid as her zodiac sign, which is really cool. But I don't know if anyone want to be mermaid cancer, you know? You know? <laughs> Thank you for your advice. You're very welcome. That's what I am here for. Now time for the generic plug time. If you want a mug that says coffee powered mermaid or some stickers, I, I, it's stickers. These are my small ones. I don't actually sell these, but I include them in every single package. If you want stickers, like a, a tail tea time sticker or a space mermaid sticker, go to you, not youtube.com, etsy.com slash shop slash nerdmade face. I think that's what it is. <laughs> and uh, you can get stickers and mugs. I'm trying to buy things. I'm not, no, I want you to buy things. I want everyone to have a little piece of mermaid magic in their lives, so I send out Etsy orders every now and then, which is awesome, and I like it. Or if you want to support me in a different way, I also have a Patreon, which is down there, patreon.com slash nerdmadefaith. The children are yelling. And if you can't do that, that is alright. I just appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm going to be hopefully uploading a video soon-ish, so you can click the dingling bell. Oh, I see you guys saying, I already named my first tale because I saw your 2018 mermaid tail collection how you named all your tails yay speaking of i put out a new video with the new tails i got this year hee <laughs> hee so if you want to check that out that is the latest video i posted on my youtube channel when we went to mermaid mega fest with my niece we had three generations of mermaids it's pretty amazing that is so awesome that is so awesome <laughs> that is, yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that's like courtney mermaid how she has like her mom is sometimes a mermaid. I haven't gotten my mom in a tail. I think she's worn my monofin once and been like, no, oh, it's all right. It's all right. But she's kind of like, no thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who's gotten their parents into mermaiding. Someone. Uh, someone in our pod has a mermaid and a mom. It's pretty cute. Are you going to get a mertail or whimsy one day? It's expensive. Uh, probably a guppy first. I'd probably get a guppy tail first. There's one guppy tail I've had my eyeballs on for a while. But if I was to get a Mertailer Whimsy, I would get the Fantasy 2 and the the one that kind of looks like my Finful fabric that's like the teal that goes into purple. Mm. It's pretty. That's the one I want because it's the cheaper version 
And while I love fins, I don't know, I don't I don't really like the looks of the fins on the Murtailer tails. <laughs> I named my first tail Steve Rogers because it's the Arctic Blue Fin Fun Tail. That's amazing. I'm trying to think if I have any funny names for my tails. Um, well, I had my, my fin to feet tail that was the really one that I didn't like from Two Tails. I named it Lunar Mermaid Space Princess. Um, what other funny names do I have my tails? I named my pink virtual tail Sunset Shimmer. That's kind of after, like, a... The, what do you call it? Um, Mahina Mono Fins Pits into three me Fins Tail Skins and the two, which is why I would get the two. Um, oh, I named my... Oh, I have a really funny name for one of mine. I forget what it is. Uh, shoot. I named my pink and blue mermaid cat shop tail Aurora after Sleeping Beauty. Oh, there's, there's like, I have a really funny name for one of my tails. I think Lunar Mermaid Space Princess is the funniest. Um, oh, I, I named my silicone tail the Galactic Beast. Or Galaxy, but Galactic Beast is normally what I call it. My Little Pony, Sunset Shiver, yep. <laughs> my first tail is from Sun Tails. Nice, my third tail is from Sun Tails. I named it True Blue. That wasn't the most excellent name. Uh, what else do I, I have? Lapis is the name, Lapis Lazuli, of my uh, blue aqua tail. And I have my other, my blue, my dark blue sun tails I named Sapphire, which I thought was a pretty name. What did I name my black tail? Oh, Nebula, that's right. I named my black rainbow tail from Richard Rowe, so Nebula, which is very pretty. Fin Fun has the bronze ruby tail, and the next one I want to get since I've already named it Tony Stark says red and gold on it. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I thought I had, like, a really funny name for one of my tails. And now I'm... Now I'm kind of sad that I forget. I guess maybe it was just Lunar Mermaid Space Princess, which is my funniest tail name. Yes. I named my Black Mahina Black Beauty. Uh -huh. And I named my Blue Mahina Kazi after Kazi Mahina. And I don't name all of my monofins, but some of them. Some of them have names. <laughs> my special ones have names. I haven't named my Linden, but I... I don't know, I just call it Linden. But yeah, I definitely... I definitely talk to my monofins and my tails with their names. I call them by names. Because I'm nuts! <laughs> I need I need help to name my new Murtailer tail. Well, do what I do! And post it on Instagram and be like, I have no creativity. Name it for me. Oh yeah, and by the way, I, I, I do have a name for my for my thingy, my, my Finfolk fabric. I'm gonna announce that in my review. I love mermaids just to think, just to think about them sounds so cool. Ha ah, yes, mermaids are fun. Mermaids are very fun. That's why I bought a crown that cost way too much money, because mermaids are fun. And I've been wearing it for a while. So I think I'm gonna go post a little bit about this on Instagram, and I would be honored to see you guys next week. Tune in. I don't know when I'm gonna do a tail tea time, but I will try to give you guys some forewarning on Instagram, so follow me at NerdMadeFaith. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you later. Bye!